All right. It might take a minute. It says I'm live, but it hasn't kicked in over on YouTube yet, which is normal. And Debbie J just raided us from her channel. And is it showing up on yours yet? Mine's still showing. Mine. There's such a lag. There we, go. there we go. It's kicking in now. I see the, the dot. There we go. I think we got it. It's rolling. Yeah, I see it. Do you see us? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Hello, everyone. Hi, you hear us? Oh, perfect. Okay, good. I am just getting a circle on. Uh, oh, love you too, Debbie J. Hi, Linda. Uh, I'll go back to the start here in one second. I'm trying to figure out. Um, that's going to have to be good enough. That's okay. It, you're perfect. I can see your workspace, which is wonderful. I'm just trying to figure out um, how to get. There we go. Okay, I got a picture. Hey, there we go. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad everyone showed up. Oh, now why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm having technical difficulties on my end. <laughs> ah. Anyway, we're here. It's our Yahtzee night. Yay. And I have a guest. Yay. And how does I Is here. She is joining me tonight, and I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to reset my page to see if I can figure out my uh, doohickey. We look fabulous. Thank you. That's what we were trying to figure out the camera thing. It's really hard, and it's, it's hard when you can't, when you're streaming from your phone, which is what we're doing, and you can't see the screen. Like, every time I have to stand up and look down into my phone, um, my phone camera thing to see and that's Janine was doing the same thing she's like I can't see either <laughs> so yeah so I'm excited Janine's excited I'm right excited. I'm super excited yay me too so it'll be cool so for those of you that are um that have been here before you know the you know the roll down the low down but for those of you that um uh, haven't um, watched Art Yahtzee or seen us roll the art dice before. I have a little container that is full of dice. Well, it was right here. And um, we um, pick six prompts. We're going to, um, already audience participation. We're going to, when I write go in the chat, we'll, um, we will start drawing colors. And we will, that will determine what die we roll for what um, prompt that we will get, that we will add to our, our list. So, and then Janet and I will create something from those prompts. Hello, Miss Judy from my scrapbook loft. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. Brenda, Debbie J. Who else is in here? Can you see anyone in here, Janet? Melissa. Hello, Melissa. I don't want to miss anyone. I didn't know if you could see Melissa, too. Debbie J, Brenda. Excellent. Pam. Hello, Pam. Hi, Pam. Biddy Penny, Linda. Hi, Biddy Hi, Penny. everyone. Tracy. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah, you guys. Thanks, thanks about for everyone. <laughs> Someone's trying to put oh, Elizabeth is here. Hello, hello. Hi, Elizabeth. You guys, thank you for coming to support us and support Janine. I know she was a little nervous at first. I think she got over the hump, though, and she's excited now. <laughs> she's waiting. She's ready for the challenge. She is ready. She's she's going to kick the dice butt. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use the stuff I have. <laughs> That's right. Me, too. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you the first time, Janine, I did it and I was like, oh, I just hope that acrylic paint doesn't come up because I'm horrible in acrylic paint and I only have a few colors. And guess what happened? Boom. First <laughs> time. That was the octopus night. I don't know if you caught that night, but yeah. boy, <laughs> I was sweating. I was like, thank goodness the camera is not on my face. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. So I have, I'm getting ready to send a go. Okay. Yeah. We'll see what we get. Oh, T says that was the best night ever. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. <clears throat> so we got, T says red. So we got red. And of course, Pam, she's got yellow. So I'm going to pull yellow. Brenda calls blue. Bitty Penny is calling yellow. Okay, another yellow. Oh, and then and we got... Purple. You see purple, all right, yeah. and a green, and uh, and green. Okay, green. Hello, <laughs> Leah. There we go. Hi, Leah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we have it. All right. So the first one, let me put my pencil out, is our texture, and. Texture is the light blue dice. So I'm going to write down all of the things first, and then we'll roll for them. And the second one was yellow, and that was the medium. Um, then we got texture on the blue stick. That's a good. That's a good thing. I like having multiples. Gives us variety. And then we got subject setting. And style. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to set these aside. I know you guys won't really see them over here, but that's okay. So the first one we got is texture, which is the light blue dye. I'm going to put it in my thing. So there's no... Elizabeth yeah. says, my color made it. I'm so happy. Yay, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, all right. So the texture, first texture is blurred. You guys okay. see that? Blurred. Oh, good. I like blurred. Yeah. <laughs> no, just slap some paint down. That's right. <laughs> Add some water. <laughs> the second one is medium. So that's our black dye. Green is definitely stylish. It sure is, Elizabeth. I love green. Mm -hmm. I like all the colors. I'm definitely a rainbow girl. I can take all the colors. All right, here goes. We got, ooh, pastels. Ooh. You got pastels, Shannon? Yep, I do. Oh, you're good. All right. That makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just smudge a blurred line. <laughs> All right, third one is texture again. <laughs> Blur <laughs> is interesting, Elizabeth. I agree. All right. Oh, it's blurred again. So I guess we're just going to stick with blurred unless, I don't know, I've never had to do a re-roll. Re -re do you guys want, do you guys think I should re-roll? What, what do the chatters think? I can come back to it. What do you think, Janen? How do you I feel about that? Leave it up to them. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, we'll skip to the next one and see what happens. Oh, everyone's saying re-roll. So let's re-roll again. All right. Okay. Re-roll. Re-roll. All right. Here it goes. Ooh, zoom in. Zoom in. I had one, I had zoom in come in before on me. Do you remember the binoculars? I don't know if any of you remember the binoculars that um, Jim said, put the uh, put the binoculars and have it looking, you know, like you're zoomed in. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Subject is one of our white dye. Let's see what our subject is going to be. Recollection. <laughs> And by the way, congratulations to Melissa Klepser. She won the first day's giveaway of the Sizzling Hot Summer through scrapbook.com. Congratulations, Ooh, my congratulations. friend. Yeah, I was excited to see, hear uh, her name. <gasps> the subject, Janine. Oh, boy. Human adult. <laughs> what? 
boy. Okay, okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. Me too. I mean, what, what are we going to do? What right? are we going to do? <laughs> right. All right. Setting I'm is setting. light green. That's kind of what I was thinking. Linda, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking I would zoom in on an eye. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about an eye. <laughs> no. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. And look, the setting is a seascape. A seascape? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this ought to be fun. This is going to be a fun <laughs> one too. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and the last one, the last one is style again. Did we get style already? Oh no, I guess this is the first one. All right, and here comes um our style. <laughs> this one always makes me nervous. I don't know what it is. Melissa Calypso says skinny dipping. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Someone is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Could be days like oh, what are you what are y'all starting? <laughs> I was thinking about toes, Debbie J. <laughs> well, here's where it's gonna get fun because this is what happened in my first ever art Yahtzee. Surreal fantasy. So make it up, Janine. Make it up. I'm smarting now. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. There it is. There it is, folks. And Debbie J says, and here I thought this was a wholesome stream. It is. Totally <laughs> okay. Boy, boy, you're watching a mermaid with her pasties blurred. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Leah says, Debbie, you should know this by now. None of us are wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so funny. I can't I can't handle it. <laughs> Hello, Miss Judy. Welcome back from Hi. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh All my right. gosh. All right. We're good. We're, we are good. I'm gonna grab my pastels. Yeah, I'll I have to my mind too. And th that'll be while my brain is um, churning. I've, I've never ever used pastels. I'm well, gonna grab them too. This will be fun, and and pastels means it can be the um, you know the um, the chalk pastels or the oil pastels or the pan pastels or whatever you got. Maybe it's pastel. No, it's pastels. I was gonna say maybe it's just pastel oh, colors. I don't know. Pastels. All right. Our chalk pastels. Aqua pastels. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. That sounds fun. Okay, and I'm. Oh, no tea. I wish I had pastel pencils. I don't have any. I'm definitely putting that on my um my wish list. I guess I should kind of I'm gonna have to do and things I, backwards. I've okay. this paper that's pest it's made for pastels, but I don't know if I it's so small. I don't know if I want to use it. Maybe I'll just I'll just use my mixed media is made for everything. So okay. we'll I've go got on. little pastels and I've got aqua pastels. Excellent. Well you're all set then. I've got cheap oil pastels by Pentel. These, are Crayola. These were, I think, my kids' pastels, but they never used them. So I grabbed them. I have, I do have a few of these little individual um, Van Gogh pastels that were, yeah, my kids too, that their dad used to buy the art supplies when they were young. And they never took them when they moved out. And look, I have this pack of um, chalks. They're like, uh, are these like the, would you consider these like dry, past, like the dry pastels? These are from 1902. 
<clears throat> what do you chatters think? T, what brand pastel pencils do you have? Oh, yeah, I'd like to this. Stabilo? Oh, yeah. Um, hi, Mary Landers. You're just in time. I can tell you what the parameters. Well, that's what I was thinking, Melissa. You know, we could stretch it a little. It could be just pastel colors, but, you know. And especially if it's body parts, you know, on a human. <laughs> Why not go with just some some neutrals, you know, some lights or uh, tans? Wholesome is Dawn. Very juvenile. <laughs> Dry chalk pastels. Okay, thank you, Bitty Penny. That's what I was wondering. Good. Good to know. Because I do have some. These ones are... These ones are a little newer than 1902 that um, I have. And maybe I'll use that when I start blurring stuff out because those will be perfect for, for that. Now, oh I my goodness. I'm going to do, I got a whole bunch of these things on clearance at my store. And it's a silhouette <laughs> of a, I, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh, of a human. Oh, perfect. Right. I don't know. If you can see right. Ooh, and he's going to be nice. looking in. I think. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. So blurred, and I'm going to be zoomed in. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. How do you use aqua pastels? Do you draw and then just add water, or do you put it on your mat and then add water and then put it on your paper? <laughs> ah, good question. Good question. Um, I don't know. Maybe someone in the chatterbox could let us give yeah, us some more to get some. Yeah. Aqua pastels. Do <laughs> Debbie J, I was not. <laughs> okay, I have to get some. <laughs> oh, okay. So T says we should prime the paper first. So, I, so you're saying I should gesso? I said just just show my paper. Ah. Oh. Yes, add water, but they leave harsh marks. Okay, so did you get that, Janine? Do you have something to prime your paper? Dining room. Okay. Oh, I think she stepped away for supply. Let's see what people are saying. So T says if you have a, some gesso or something or a way to prime your paper to do that with the aqua pastels, because she said, "Add you add water, yes, but they leave a harsh mark if you don't prime your paper first. Okay. So I would say if you have some gesso that you could like go over your. This is well, it's not prime, but it's prime. This is. Your... I have regular pastels, but I'm gonna prime mine too, just in case. So I've got gesso. How long does it take for gesso to dry? I'm trying to think of what else you wouldn't prime for chalk would you no not chalk so gesso for the aqua pastels that's it okay i'm gonna grab some quick so i if you guys think i, I mean i'm gonna i gesso most weeks anyway i usually gesso ahead of time and then i kick myself because i end up if i end up with watercolor i'm like oh shoot i didn't really need to gesso but not that it like ruins it but I'm going to gesso anyway, just to give myself, and I might be able to blur easier with my oil pastels if I, <clears throat> Janine's volume is low. Okay, I'll let her know when she comes back. So you just slop it on? Janine, Pam says your volume is low. Is there a way to up your volume? Oh, right away? Just I can't it. adjust it, Pam. So we'll see. I could hear her okay, but it might just be. 
I've never used gesso before, just a light coat of it. That's what I do. I just paint paint it on a light coat and then I'm going to use my heat tool now and I'm going to kind of dry it real quick. She oh good. Okay. Hello, Kamado Kamado. Kristen, how are you? Thanks for making it. Thanks for dropping in. How do you get the streaks out? Or I guess, well, oh, never mind, it's working. You got it moving? All right, perfect. Hi, Cordelia. Hello, Cordelia. Hello, Kimoto. I don't know if I've missed anyone. Um, we are crafting. We are actually, this is um, a game night that we do, and it's called Art Yahtzee. We actually roll some art dice, and that um, determines our inspiration for the evening, whatever it is we're creating. So our, oh, and for Mary Landers, if you're still here, I hope you are. <clears throat> for those that are coming in, I'll write down, I mean, I'll read off the, um, the prompts that we rolled. So our first one was texture, which was blurred. And then we got uh, pastels for our medium, zoom in for our texture, um, a human adult for our subject, seascape for the setting, and surreal slash fantasy for our style. So it ought to be interesting. <laughs> and I believe Janine is using a combination. Are you using all aqua pastels tonight, Janine? Or are you going to switch it up and use your oil pastels too? I don't know. She doesn't know. Well, our, our medium is either of them before. So. Yeah. So our medium is pastel. So we're trying, you know, I will be um, using a combination of my oil pastels and I have some chalk pastels. And then um, um, Janine has aqua pastels and oil pastels that she is choosing from. And Pam, I'm not sure where Jim is. I wonder if maybe someone could do a well check. I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe message him and send him some hugs all right Bitty Penny, thank you for taking time out and joining in tonight. It's so nice to see you. I know you have a busy, busy life with the kids and all and family. So I feel so honored. Okay. Thank you for popping in. I really appreciate it. It's always fun to see you. It's always fun to see everyone, but I... uh. There's a few of you that I see rarely, and it's so nice when I do get to see you. I'm like, yay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start by sketching. And I think I'm going to go with the idea of the eye. And we're going to zoom way in. See if I can get it right. <laughs> I love that it doesn't have to be precise. Everything can be kind of blurry. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't want to hit a button here. I'm trying to find my, here we go. <laughs> I know. Isn't it great? I love our little community. Everybody's so loving. Okay. 
a naked eye. Oh, thank you, Pam, for checking in on Jim. Um, I am going to Google I make sure I get all of the components. Not that I have to get a lot, but I want to make sure I somewhat uh, get the get how it goes. <laughs> Um, we have eyelashes. Boop, boop. And then in the eye, have whites and we have an eyeball. So this is our, my zoomed in. I was wondering how it was ever going to look We have a pupil. It's going to be big. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at that. <clears throat> Blurry beach in the eye. You got it, Melissa Clipser. That's it. The eye is contains. The seascape. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing beach. I was, it was gonna, it was like a toss up. Like, should I go with an eye or should I go with like a close up of like a foot, like with the toes in the sand? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so. Clean water. Could be my eye. It's got bags under it. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, and that's really brown. So I want to know from the chatters that use like oil pastels, like how do you guys smudge them? You know, a lot of people smudge the oil pastels when they use them. I'm just curious. And can you erase them? I'm curious about that too. Yeah, I have no idea. Me either. I'm not a big oil pastel person. I did use them. Ironically, I did use them on the last um, art Yahtzee that I that called for um, pastels. Or maybe I just used pastels because my binoculars, I used pastels. But I'm not sure. Fingers, not oil. Okay, well, that's what I thought. Fingers. I think... This still seems so dark. So good to know I can erase them. Maybe it's my gessoed paper is allowing me to erase them. That's good. I just want it to look a little sandy here. I don't know. 
How are you doing, Janine? I'm doing okay. 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 Oh, T, that's an idea. Oh, hey, Melissa. Hi, Melissa Sue. Can you start it on your finger instead of paper? Well, oh, geez, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, <gasps> I did not know. I do know that I need to. Hello, Deborah. I'm going to erase some of this graphite because I kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. So I'm going to erase some because it's causing things to turn muddy. Thanks, Jebby J. Oh, you know what? The thicker that you put on the oil pastels, too, the more it rubs out. That's good to know. I like the white oil pastel. Kind of adds some froth to it. Still can't hear Janine. Oh, you can't hear me? Well, I hear you. Pam says she can't hear. I think it's because she's not really saying a lot, Pam. She's kind of working. I'm focused. She's, she's, <laughs> she is focused, she said. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Thank you for the thumbs up. Hi, Michael. Melt the tip of it. Well, I don't think you can. You can't really melt the tip because look, they're so soft already. These oil pastels that I wouldn't dare add some heat. Okay, so now we're going to see. I wouldn't dare. And welcome, by the way. Mary Lander says we need closed captions for you, Janine. <laughs> yes. My mind. <laughs> <laughs> she said good. Yeah, I hope you guys heard that. She said good thing you can't read. Like, you guys can't read her mind. <laughs> Maybe I will. Um, so let's see. So the ocean is blue. The sky is going to be blue. I'm going to do this ocean water a little bit darker, I think, so that my sky can be a lighter. Yeah, we're on. We're, we're thinking the same thing. Are we? Yeah. Yay! Oh, it'll be fun to see, to compare and see what each other does. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me, by the way, tonight. I appreciate you coming. Because I don't use any of what I have, and I always want to use it. Well, I'm glad you have the opportunity. And anyone that's in the chatterbox, you know, you guys can always reach out. Anybody that wants to join or come up on panel and take on the, the uh, dice challenge, more than welcome. My email is in my about section on YouTube, my about page. If I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I can do it, same. <laughs> I was a little nervous taking on this challenge, but it's been fun.
Oh, the he's put you really well. I'm happy with them. The aqua pastels? Yeah. That's awesome. Is this your first time using them? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Like I said, I don't use anything that I have because I'm always just so scared, you know? Like, yeah. So this forced me to use. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Brenda. And welcome, Wondrous Natures. Um, Debbie oh. J. <laughs> Debbie J is asking if I'm putting my iris in. This is my iris. Uh, well, no, that's my pupil. Yes, I'm putting the iris in. Um, I was thinking wrong, wrong part. Yes, and I'm thinking I'm going with green. For all you green-eyed uh, peeps out there. Are you green? You're are you green eyed, Janine? Or are you blue eyed? I'm brown eyed. Brown eyes. For some reason, I don't know why. I, I was thinking you were a hazel, nope. like a hazel, but brown eyes. Oh, okay. Mine are blue, blue. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. And it's weird because both of my parents had brown eyes, supposedly. Yeah, and they say my, blue is my, dominant. Yeah. Whoever they is. Um, oh, Michael S. says that he can hear you now, so that's good. Michael S. has green eyes. T loves green eyes. My husband has hazel eyes. And Debbie, blue eyes. Debbie J. has hazel eyes. Interesting. I love learning this about you guys. Both of my girls have blue eyes. Their dad had like deep brown, like chocolate, like black brown eyes. Like you couldn't see his pupils. Isn't that incredible? Eh? Yeah. And T's son has hazel eyes. And Deborah, um, your neighbor, Deborah, in Canada, she her eyes change color between green, blue, and gray. So I would say they're, yeah, kind of switched like back. My husband, we just call him Hazel. That's cool. Um, blue eyes, it could be. I'm pretty light sensitive. Michael S. was asking, is it true that blue eyes are more sensitive to light? Debbie J. says... That was her mom. She had, she had brown eyes. <laughs> oh, and Kristen, she's got, she's teen blue eyes. Nice. Can you add stuff in that's not on your parameters? What's that? Can you add stuff in that's not part of the parameters? Yeah, of course. Okay. You can add whatever you like. Of course. I, because green eyes, I feel like sometimes you get those little specks that have like a little bit of brown around the pupil. That is so cool. Mine is so <laughs> plain. Huh? I said yours is so cool and I'm mine's pretty plain. Well, you're just getting started. You were looking, you had to get water and stuff. You're just getting started. You'll get there. Okay. And I've done this six times, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> I think my paper's too big. Like, I have a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You can, you can smaller it down. You can cut, you know, you can do it on whatever size paper you choose. If you feel you're overwhelmed with it too big, you can go small. I have... Look at the size papers that I cut, that I put in my art Yahtzee box. I did some Grumbacher, like, um, this is like charcoal paper for charcoals and pastels. But look, they're a little tiny. Then mixed media. This is Bristol Smooth. And Arsh's um, cold pressed watercolor paper. But I did all these small little pieces and I haven't even used any because I ended up buying the mixed media um, pad. And I've just been doing everything in your pad. Oh, Pam says, um, please review parameters for those just joining. Um, 
Okay, Deborah, shoot me an email. My email is in my about section on YouTube. If you go to my about, you can, my email is public in there. <laughs> Melissa Sue, she says, you need to add an octopus. I know. I feel like that that's my, um, that's my theme. It's like yes. those little critter books. <laughs> it's like the, the, the most. Right? I'm wrecking this. Okay, so the um, we have um, six parameters. The first parameter is our texture, and our texture was blurred. And then um, the medium that was chosen for us to use were pastels. So I am using a combination of oil pastels and chalk pastels. I haven't gotten to the chalk yet, but... Um, and Janine is using aqua pastels and possibly and oil. And oil. I'll get that. And oil pastels. There you go. And then our third um, prompt was texture again, which was zoom in. Our subject was a human adult. The setting was seascape. And the style was surreal fantasy. And yes, need an octopus. I know. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I was thinking of a whale. <laughs> Having a whale like popping out of the water. <sighs> so funny. <laughs> I know. I think the octopus is kind of kind of be the the signature thing now since it's kind of started off the game. <laughs> yep. It's so funny. I'm kind of rubbing in a little bit of color to kind of give myself a sunset, sunset, sunrise feel. Okay, that's my. Take care, Brenda. Thank you for stopping in, Hi, Brenda. <laughs> yes, Deborah, I could put a tiny one crawling on the sand from the ocean. <laughs> I could. Maybe we do a little bit of the reflection of the sun in the ocean. There we go. Okay. So. I don't know that I have. Uh... I'm not really sure what good pastels. Well, I guess these Van Goghs are fairly good pastels. <clears throat> oh, and I can actually, I just broke that up, but I have a gray right here. Let's try that Van Gogh gray. Um, I like how it's smudge. Like how, oh, yeah. Happy mistake. <laughs> <laughs> a happy discovery. <laughs> yeah, I like the, I like the smudge too. That's the one thing I have learned from using the oil pastels that I do enjoy is I do like that it, you get that rough and you can accept that you probably should make sure your fingers are clean when you do smudge because you do get residue from the previous color. <clears throat> so I keep getting this yucky look and it. I know it's because I'm using, um, I, I smudged in the green and then now I'm trying to smudge the skin tone in. <laughs> I'm getting like a green skin. <laughs> Just clean up my mat. Mm -hmm. 
sorry if my daughter's connected. That's okay. Connected. You're fine. You're fine. Congratulations on your son graduating, by the way. Thank you. Yes. He is now taking a break. Nice. What a nice, yeah, it's yeah. such a nice accomplishment, huh? I bet it feels so accomplished. Yeah. I think so. He's, he's late. He's pretty laid back. He doesn't say too much ever. He's really, really shy. Yes, yes, came out of the, she says you did say fantasy was one of the parameters, right? So green skin would work for that. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> no, can't it can't be a Shrek eye, Pam. It has to be a human eye. Remember it said it has to be a human adult as our subject. So yeah. I have to use a human eye. But yes, the green skin could work. Oh, you don't? Well, it's the crafty the crafty visage at gmail.com, Deborah. I can put it out there because it's on my page publicly. So so yeah, just shoot me an email and um I can um I will put you on my calendar. I felt bad for Jan poor Janine. She waited so long because I, I ended up getting so sick that my whole schedule got like kind of bumped. <laughs> That's okay. I'm patient. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> poor Janine, she's been waiting and I get people in. I was trying to squeeze people in where I could. I don't know if this works. Well, I appreciate your patience. I'm glad you held out for me. <laughs> well, that does not look like tree. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't what was that, you did? I'm sorry. I said, uh, that doesn't look like a tree. I don't think, I don't know what I, what I can turn that into. <laughs> Wait, let's see if I can wipe it off. Well, it's you know, could be worse. I'm gonna leave it. Could be worse. Oh, on the side, because I have yeah. to look on the. <clears throat> I'm looking in the screen. It's a little delayed, so I'm look, trying to see your screen. Is it? Are you doing a tree like a palm tree or? Not a palm tree. I don't know. I was trying to do like a. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't even know what kind of tree you call it. It's um. Like a Christmas tree. I don't know what you call them. Or Ever, like an evergreen yeah that's it but it's not looking like that it this water is too loose it can still be a tree just for a bush we'll call it a bush <laughs> and it's blurred <laughs> there you go that's the part that matters it's blurred there you go <laughs> <clears throat> It'll work. It'll be whatever it is. That's right. What do we got? His wife Fiona was a human before an ogre. Yes, you are correct. Hey, I say, I say anything goes. Um, I have to leave at eight. Can't miss Real Housewives. Okay, Michael. I know you got a few minutes. Ah, he's a fan of Real Housewives of New Jersey tonight. That's what's on tonight. I used to watch those series. Yeah, I used to watch them only because my daughter watched all that. She loved her reality TV. I look at you. But it's more of a, I mean, it's a winter All right, now let's see if we can get some lashes on here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm thinking dark brown. Should I go dark brown for the lashes? Um, and how far do you start in for lashes? I'm terrible with this stuff, you guys. Like, I don't know. I'm going to give her my fantasy lashes, which I wish for like three miles long. I love long lashes. I, I feel like the older I get, the shorter my lashes are getting. When they grow back, it's like, hey, <laughs> you got a little more to grow there. <laughs> my water. It looks better in person, guys. <laughs> let me look. Let me look at you up close. Let me see. Oh, are we even, like, flipping around? Oh, I think you're, I think you're doing good, Janine. It's looking good. I see your seascape for sure. I see your trees. Lashes go the length of the eyelid. Okay. That's what I thought. I know that just the little ones are, they're just shorter, I think, when they're, well, they're supposed to, Linda. I think mine are falling out the older I get. You know, my mom didn't have eyelashes. She plucked her eyelashes. Oh, really? Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know why she said it. I know people pluck their eyebrows and sometimes my friend my friend has no eyebrows now well they're super super light but they're super super thin like they hardly tell because um she she would um you know trim them pluck them all her life so she, she had told me once don't don't pluck your eyebrows. Stop doing it because as you get older, they start thinning out and they don't grow back. That's good to know. As thick. And I'm like, huh. I know mine have, um, they're not really too thin. I feel like they're getting, of course, they get lighter. You know, your hair, you get age. And I notice, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have like gray hairs in my eyebrows. Oh my gosh. But I notice my eyelashes definitely are thinning out the older I've gotten. Half eyebrows? Yeah, that's what my friend, she was the same way. She was like, Don, don't pluck your eyebrows. I used to get them waxed once in a while when I was younger and working. and But uh, I'm not really, like, it's not pressing for me to Oh my gosh, look, this is proof, you guys. Use your supplies because look, this is my this is the makeup applicator from my chalks from <clears throat> 1902. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like dissolved. <laughs> and now I don't know what to use. I don't think I have any little oh wait, I have Q tips. I don't know how to how would I blend the I have these little jars that I use for applicators. I'm better using fingers. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like I feels. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, it's easier with fingers. I'm putting little marks of like blue in my eye because I'm looking at a picture of a green eye and it has like brown like around the center, but it has bits of blue in there. Little bits of blue. The eye is super green, but it has still like a little bit of blue in there. Really? 
wispy. I'm making wispy clouds. <laughs> there you go. They're blurry, right? Blurry yeah. clouds. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do with my eyelashes. I'm going to blur them out. Pull them out. Blur them up. Looking fantastic. Thank you. Yours is looking fantastic, too. I'm anxious to see your human part. <laughs> oh, T says she she never plucked. She's too much of a wimp. <laughs> I don't really pluck now unless, you know, you get those hairs that grow out of control, like as you get older and you're like, hey, didn't you know you were supposed to stop growing one inch ago? Like, what the heck? <laughs> those I just I don't really I guess I do I kind of just like pluck them out like hey get out of there <laughs> but I never really plucked I, I like I said I used to go and get my uh, <sighs> I never really ever wore makeup to be completely honest like I would wear mascara and eyeliner that was yeah yeah I think only back in the day when I was a uh, when I was doing bank teller stuff, I did I did the dressy up and full makeup and you know, I don't know. Back then it was like the thing. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm eighties, right? Like my hair. Yeah. Nineties, but... eighties. Yeah. But. Yeah. I... But as I got older and my kids got older and I. Had a different outlook and job. I just never really, my I was never comfortable in that setting anyway. Like with the dressy, dressy clothes and the heels, it just wasn't my thing. I was more of a let me like throw on some jeans or a sundress and some um, sandals, you know, or or just go barefoot. <laughs> okay, I've got my. How do I? Any suggestions? How do I get rid of this harsh line? Right. Suggestions on getting rid of her harsh line, guys, for her ocean. Can you, will it re-wet if you wet it and like blur it in or and move it up into your sky or I don't know. Let's see what our chatters say. <laughs> Me too, T. She said her eyebrows moved to her chin. <laughs> T says she thinks the line is good. Does she? Okay. Well, it's not really moving, so okay. Okay. All right, you so can always add your oil pass layer your oil pastel on there too if you have to. Or want to or feel the need to. I don't know. If you if you feel like it's bothering you, I think it looks great. My gosh, look, you guys, my chalks are so old. I dropped them. That's why they look like this. <gasps> I dropped them many years ago and then I put them in a drawer and I never really used them after that. I was like, oh man, I can't use these. I break things. <laughs> I think, I think, what am I going to Now it's an adult, a human adult. 
Um, what's it say? Subject, adult, human. Yeah. So you could do anything. You could do. You could do anything. Oh yeah, you got it. Look at you. Should I? Oh yeah. That's gonna look perfect. Oh, oh it's like a sunset walk. They're living out of fantasy. <laughs> right. I'm doing a um, I'm doing a crab for you, T. It's a little blurry crab on the on the on the shore seashore. <laughs> now do I do it all in black? And then it's a silhouette. <laughs> hey guys, do you let me know? Should I do the guy and the girl or just the guy? Okay, in case you guys can't hear Janine, she is asking if should if should she do the guy and the girl or or what'd you say just one or the other yeah should That's she do one or the girl and the guy should she do know. just the guy or the guy and the girl Do you like the Karen Karan Dash Karen Dash crayons? I don't know if I like them. I've never used any of them. T says just the guy. Kristen says both. Okay, so we got one and one. Let's see whichever reaches. I don't know. What do you say? Like three? Whichever vote yeah. one gets three votes. So we'll see. You guys put put your vote in the chat. Should Janine do just the guy or? both the guy and the girl on her on her beach I meant to write so like the oh okay okay gotcha T um, Deborah says girl power <laughs> so I don't know if that means include the girl I don't know and Linda says ooh hard choose which is tugging at you most Janin Pam well, says just I'll one. Start with the guy. Pam says then just one, and then it should be in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah says just the girl. <sighs> because it might be a hot mess. Anyways, so I think what I'll do is I'll do the silhouette in. Because a silhouette is black normally, anyways, right? Right. That look, that's awesome. I love those stencils. Hey, look, this can be an '80s girl, I'm giving her blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know what else I can add to mine, folks. Thinking. And I so can you put it. You just smudge them with your fingers, like you put it on and then smudge it? Yeah, that's what I did. It worked great. There we go. And. A tip I noticed the more the the heavier the oil pastel like as I added more layers of color, the easier it was to smudge, like to blur it out. Okay. Um Pam wants you Pam wants you to put Janine's guy in the eye view. Oh, oh, put Janine's guy in my eye view. Okay, I see what you're saying. So maybe I should um, draw Janine's guy like in my, in my, um, okay, gotcha. If I had to draw <laughs> a human All right. movie, a stick figure. <laughs> well, I'm just drawing a silhouette. It's, it's nothing major. Yeah. I 
don't like the feeling of oil pastel. No? No. No, I, I prefer the aqua ones. Oh, let me try this. I'm going to try this little thing here that I have. I don't know if I can blur. Oh, I can. like an alien <laughs> well mine kind of does now i kind of gave him these maybe he's like a sea monster uh, man he's fantasy he's a fantasy man that's right so. and all body parts are Wait, that's a pirate. <laughs> She's like, wait, that's a pirate. <laughs> the burning man, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. This is Pirate Bay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta go over the ocean it's again. Really dark, like. Maybe I should have used gray. Maybe I should put gray on top. I don't know. I just feel like it's so harsh. Maybe he's going to be kneeling in the sand. He's praying to the sea gods. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's your man, Jen. He's in my eye. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. This is so fun. Isn't it? Thank I'm you, so man. glad you came on. Okay, so I found a use for my little silicone um, little brushes that I have. They're for nails, but I got them because I saw people using them for art, and then I couldn't find the videos of people using them for art. <laughs> so I was like, what do I use these for again? <laughs> And uh, they actually work for the chalk pastels. So that's a good, that's good to know. My blurry crab. Why is the wrong con? <laughs> Oh, good night, Debbie J. Enjoy your dinner. Good night. Yeah, Cordelia. Thanks for being in. I'm just repeating in case for those that yeah, said they couldn't hear you, hear. but I, I hear you. And I hear you fine, so I'm not sure. Um, Cordelia said, I thought it might be a man walking his crab on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's right. Now the crab is blurry drunk. That is correct. <laughs> but oh look, I can even blur my oh, I can even blur my oil pastels with these. Oh, look oh at that. That's cool. That's my cool. goodness. That's cool. Look at that. It adds like a little like texture in the Oh my gosh, look at that. And then I get that striations in the eye. I want to give this guy a heart somehow. My God, I love it. Deborah says, yes, that's Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I should add a brown hat. Maybe I can add a pirate's hat. You just can't see it in Janine's because she zoomed in, remember? Okay, are you ready for it? Ready for me to take this off? Yes. Okay, let's see if I am trying to catch look up. At, I've got a leg. Look at his handsome legs, too. Okay, I'm the other way. Let me see. That's better. He's 
I don't think he's good, but we'll. Ooh, look at that. Ready? One, two. I'm out of frame, I think. I don't know which way to go. I see his head now. Okay. I'm trying to find uh I don't want to hit my stop stream button and I can't find my mouse. Like, wake up, mouse. <clears throat> I think okay. I no, no, okay. I'm pulling him off anyways. Oh well. <gasps> oh there he is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. And he's got some blurs. He's smudged. <laughs> Perfect. And he zoomed in. You got you right up close behind him. Yeah. Uh, Cordelia said that's pretty cool, Janine. Uh oh, I just made a mess. <laughs> and T says he has Mad Men legs. Mad yeah. Men legs. Oh me. Oh, maybe mine has Mad Men legs because he's. I don't know, but I did notice the legs on yours. He looks like he's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Pam it's says so it, <laughs> Pam, Pam asks is it Elvis at the beach yeah. <laughs> okay I have to fix that somehow I don't know how to fix that but I think it looks awesome I think he's just got his little you know his little he's got swag yeah swag that's the word swag yeah if I can put... for sure I need another piece of paper. <laughs> wow, this is hilarious. I wonder if I could put, does anyone know if I can put red on top of black if it will show? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> and T says, T says, um, yes. Uh, it, it's, it's, he, she's like, oh, <laughs> they're saying LOL because he, T says it's because he drank all the rum and don't fix it. She's <laughs> so like, no, don't bottle down somewhere. Don't fix it. She says, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It could be half buried in the sand. Yeah. We're going to put a bottle in there. I just have to find a color that looks like a bottle. I don't know. Mine's got a, I don't know if it's fins or fringe off the side of his uh, little thing, but I can't fix it anymore. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Awesome. I'm just trying to go over what I have. You're fine. Take your time. You're doing great. I love it. Blurred. I've got pastels. Yes. Zoom in. Zoom in adult. Seascape. Yes. And surreal fantasy. <laughs> yep. Okay. I've got it all. I just want to add, I want to add a bottle. Yep. And you got your human adult. Looks awesome. Wine bottles are green. Oh. Some are. Okay. So. I don't know. I think I've made my rum bottles all different colors. So. The rum green bottle works. that we had was white. For the party. Because my son likes. Bumba or Bumba rum? Oh yeah, I have that. The Bumbo rum? Yeah. Yep. I have a bottle of that downstairs. Not full. It's empty, but I love the bottle with the with the crossbones on exactly. it. Exactly. Like I it's in my one of my flower gardens. Yeah, I love it. It does look like a pirate dropped his bottle. For sure. The the that that bottle of rum. It looks like it belongs to a pirate, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's funny. I had never heard anyone mention Bumbo Rum before. Yeah. That's it's cool. It's very expensive <laughs> out here. Like it's a treat. <laughs> yeah. Now he has, <laughs> she says, now he has a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to draw a bottle. Pam says, I don't think so. Maybe white and then red. Uh, cut a red heart out of paper. Oh. You can cut a red heart out of paper. Or, Pam says, maybe paint a heart on with lunar paste. Oh, yes. Cordelia's got to go. These are great. She enjoyed watching us. Thank you, Cordelia. Take care and have Bye, a great Cordelia. night. 
Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> it's half buried. It's a half buried bottle of wine. Yep, that's it. I guess it's anything else that uh, you chatters or Janine can think that I might need to add, or do you think I'm good to go? Oh, that's a weird bottle. Yes, I like the stories, too. She says she loves this game because of the stories. I, I do, too. I love that. I love, like, and you know what's funny is when I look at it, like, same when I look at my octopus, that's what I think of. Like, I'm, <clears throat> I think of the story that went behind with him washing up, and he was the little hammock, and. Oh, my goodness. And uh, the crab crawled up on him, and let's see if I can find him in my book. Here it is. Here was the start of it all. <laughs> and his pirate hat fell off. He was a, a pirate octopus. And there's there's the bottle of rum in my uh in my sand. <laughs> there you go. I, got a I just need a darker brown. Yeah. Um T says round need to round the eye out with a highlight. Okay. Like, like in the, like in the iris, like put a little highlight in the iris. Sorry. Um, oh, you're fine, Shannon. We like, we like pets here. <laughs> um, going, for, going for a walk so they're excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, I used to get super excited as soon as they saw the leashes. All right, so yes, to make it glassy. Okay. Oh, let me see. I gotta Google that. Did that look like a bottle? Let me look. Why, yes, yes, it does. Put your fingers in the corner of your mouth and stretch your mouth and say, I was born on a pirate ship. <laughs> oh, okay, Deborah, I'll try it after the live. I don't dare try it right now. I'm afraid of what I might say. A lunar paste. A <laughs> I don't know if I can. Oh, here we go. Trying to get um, my highlight <laughs> in the right spot and the right size here. To add the glimmer. We'll use bee sting. Just need a white piece of paper. And T says yes, it does look like a bottle. I don't know. How's that look, T? Am I getting enough of the highlight in there scoopy better yes okay sorry <laughs> i'm looking at a picture like which which way should i where should i lay these highlights down nice and quiet again there you go that's my highlight <laughs> made my eye look a little rounder i guess and the only thing that i saw was like maybe a little bit of like um it had a little bit of more grayish like tone on this side because it was near the nose away from the light Ugh. But I don't want to. Oh, I thought a heat gun. Jeez, what am I doing? I'm blowing on it. 
Mon eraser. Get off there. Oh, uh, let's see. Look at that. I'm just like that. It's dry. That weird skin substance in the corner of our eyes should be both sides. Oh, is it? Okay. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do see on one picture. It does show a little of the pink. Like, um. Like, it's kind of like the veins in the white of the eye. Because this is all like the white of the eye. And you know what? I'm going to use my sandy razor because I feel like. That will get me some more grip here with getting off this. Estelle. Come on. There we go. I'm mucking it up, you guys. That's what I feel like. Do I put it on the right side or the left side? Because he's looking that way, right? He's looking the opposite way, so his heart would... The eyeball is sort of a sphere. I know, and I can't... Does it look... Yeah, it does. You're right. So it does have that... <clears throat> roundness. Maybe this is David. Uh, what's the um, what's the Hulk's name? David. Uh, you know, he turns to the Hulk. Yeah, yeah so mad green eyes. Yes, Linda. <laughs> Real fantasy. That's right. T says um, the eyeball is sort of a sphere. Um, but then, oh, then she says, well, then he can't be peeing in the water. <laughs> <laughs> David Banner. That's it. David Banner. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's right. I think I'm done. I think I can add other stuff, but I've got all the parameters for now. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's missing something, but I don't know what. Well, you got your zoomed in. It's blurry. Yep. You used your pastels. You got a human in there, a human adult. You got your seascape. And it's a fantasy, right? Yeah. There you go. That's Janine's fantasy, to walk up on the beach and see um, tall, dark, and handsome there. On the beach. I'd be standing on the beach. Trying to make it a little bit well, it's blurry though, right? So it's supposed to be okay. Yes, Linda. It's um sur surreal, uh surreal fantasy, yes, was a parameter. Yes, I ma'am. Mine is the picture in the eyeball. Like, who really has? I guess, I mean, if you can capture it just right. <laughs> Yours is incredible. Yours is artsy. So artsy. I think yours is artsy, too. I think it came out awesome, Janine. You did a great job. I love that you were game and made yourself vulnerable to just taking the challenge online and live in front of everyone i appreciate that well i appreciate you having me it was so fun yes and if ever you want to do it again just give me a holla i do it again. I appreciate everyone oh linda's playing along hence her asking i can post the um parameters in the oh i think i forgot to do that on the last one oh my brain went my brain checked out <laughs>
And T says, yours is artsy too, Janine. Well, thank you. And most importantly, you got your rum. I did. Right there. <laughs> I have to put a star on it. And T wants to know why she can. I'm sorry. I walked over you. What was that? I'm sorry. I can put my, the, it's a gold star, right? A gold star, yes, gold star. I'll put a gold <laughs> star on it. Yes. And T wants to know why she can remember um, the name David Banner, but she can't remember where she put her scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. <laughs> all right. Well, there, there we have it, guys. Thank you. So we fun. hit all our parameters. And this is so fun. We did good. It was fun. Thank you so much for for uh, playing along with me. I am. I feel honored. I'm honored that you would have. It. Like I said, <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, my cross. Yes, she like, says so there? much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys did great, and the audience that the chatters did great. Thank you for um, playing along also and helping us out and giving us giving us suggestions and being our cheerleader and all that good stuff. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to use up the rest yeah. of my lunar paste that I had smudged. And I'm just going to smudge it over here. I know, T. T says it's so much easier to watch than to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Kristen, um, this is done on the second Tuesday of the month. We did have an exception last month was it last month or the month last month because i had um quite a few people that had checked in and i had some stuff coming up so i needed to kind of squeeze in or we would have been we would have been doing this all summer <laughs> so um yeah last month so um so usually the second tuesday of the month and if i have a big um crowd that that email you know a lot of people that send me emails that are interested in partaking um then i try to squeeze a couple of people on at a time and maybe a couple of art yahtzees in the month like switching it out like every other week so but typically it's just once once um a month on the second tuesday of the month so you're welcome elizabeth thanks for showing up thanks for coming and cheering on Janin. Yeah, I like it better. It needed an edging. Maybe that was all it needed. It looks awesome. I love it. Let me see if I can make you big because I'm not really good with StreamYard. I'm kind of still learning it. But let me see if I can make you big so people can see your... Um, I, I think I can do it. I should put it the right way, maybe. There you go. Oh, yes. It looks awesome. I love it. I love I'm the lunar paste. paste to the edges. Oh, you are sweet. <laughs> Just because I put too much and I don't want to waste it. It looks awesome. Yep. And that's yeah, what the chatterbox says. T is saying it's awesome too. Great work. Yep. I love it. I love it. Love it. It's big. It looks great. Um, all right, let me see. Let me see if I can get back to the two of us. And I can bring mine up close to. And then we will. <laughs> There's my zoomed in eye. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> that's cool. Hello. Thank you. Elizabeth says fabulous work from both of you lovely ladies. Oh, <laughs> So T asks, um, Janine, yes. okay, do I see a body part that makes me understand why it looks like he's peeing? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. Really That's hilarious. It's not on the stencil. It just happened that way. That's why I started laughing when I put it up. That's her smudge. I mean, blur. Yeah. <laughs> It's a body part. <laughs> <laughs> that lets you know it's a human adult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming in, everyone, and supporting us. I appreciate it. And anybody that's interested in playing along, feel free to drop me an email. I'd love to have you. I love having company while I'm doing it. I like doing it solo, too. I think we get a different feel, but I really like having a guest also. So I think it's fun to see everybody's interpretation on the live. So. <laughs> Kimato, Kimato. <laughs> Kristen says Janine didn't hesitate to say yes. <laughs> that was your fantasy. <laughs> That's what that came from. T. <laughs> She's like, it just happened. LOL. Sure. It was fantasy. <laughs> That's great. You guys are fun. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys all on. I will try to be back live on Sunday for Sunday fun day. Hopefully Linda will feel good and she'll be able to join me. Um, if not, I will see you guys on my channel um, at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And um, yeah. So make sure you leave comments for Janine. She doesn't have a YouTube channel yet, but um, maybe someday. Right, Janine? Maybe my son's trying to convince me. <laughs> yeah, but um, leave her lots of love in the comments for those that are watching the replay. Um, you know, show her some love, and um, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you. Take Bye, care, everyone.